Thank you so much for tuning in to the follow-up video on the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Black Toe 2023. Let's just get sizing out of the way right now. I traditionally go up a half size. I know that's weird, but if it's a men's or GS Jordan 1, I go up a half size. Otherwise, the sides of my feet feel cramped, especially when I wear thicker socks, which I tend to do. A lot of you went a half size down or true to size in this, and please do whatever works for you. I know a lot of people tune into videos to see sizing recommendations, but I may not be the best for this because I'm going to buy the size that works for my feet. In terms of comfort, this Air Jordan 1 OG Low is way more comfortable than the older pairs from 2015. Like the sock liner itself, the insole, it's a big step up. How to style this pair? We are keeping it classic. So the fitted black pant, that's something most of us ladies, we have that. We have those in our closet. The brand new lace crop I have from Airy with the single shoulder. I just thought it was super cute and it was on sale. And then a chambray denim shirt to top off this look. Now let's flip it. Let's make it a little bit more relaxed, but pretty much the same thing. So the Jordan 1 black toe t-shirt. Yes, like I'm wearing the shoe on the shirt. The custom Levi nike patchwork denim jacket i had done literally it's a custom and then minimal everyday nylon pants to finish off this look so if you can't tell it's literally a play off of each other so you go ahead and sound off in the comments do you like the lace look better on the left or the jordan t look on the right a lot of it is just based on preference if you want something that's a little bit more fitted you can also just put on a regular tank if you don't want a crop or you don't want lace or maybe if you're going back to school maybe they don't allow that i don't know what the rules are in school these days when it comes to dress code okay i'm not up to date on that but here are the first two looks we are winding down the WNBA regular season and my Las Vegas Aces, we are still surging ahead. So I got to show them love right now. My favorite cargoes, you guys know, Richie Lee Collection. These are the ripstop cargo pants in the olive colorway. Just, just, they're amazing. They're super soft. They open up just over the top of the shoe. They look great with lows. And then this crew neck. So I'm actually wearing a large, so it has that oversized look. Logo on the side, logo on the hat. Do we see how the sale plays in i hope you do so the sale laces are coordinating extremely well with the hat which is the draft day hat and oh look i clearly bought two of those crop lace tops yeah i got two this is a black one and then my zara leather jacket i kept the cargos on because i'll wear cargo pants with anything but this is just a different you know take a switch up maybe i'm at the game and then maybe you know i have other plans afterwards i don't know but you guys can check out the back here absolutely love just the symmetry of this top so again ladies i picked this up on airy or american eagle i think it might be an online exclusive but sound off in the comments for these two looks leather and lace or crew neck and cargos which is your favorite I'm liable to wear either one on any given day, but the draft hat I absolutely love. And I'm really glad that this can tie into the sale lace option for the shoe. Remember I said you can dress these up. Yeah, I absolutely meant that. So let's dress them up just a little bit. Black on black, because one of you said, hey, you should definitely wear more all black. It just, it looked great with the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. And you know what? I think you guys are right. Maybe I'll tap into more black on black. So the black Zara leather leggings, these are just, they're amazing. And then the same lace crop in black and my H&M blazer in black as well. So this is super simple. Like you can run and pick up all of these items right now, likely under $100 for everything actually. Yeah, you may be able to do that for under 100. Finally, let's dive into just some basic neutrals, a little bit on the lighter side since we don't have black here, but the lighter sand color for the H&M blazer, one of my favorite, just all white basic V-necks from H&M as well, viscose, it's just a really soft tee. And then a pair of slacks, a little bit more fitted in charcoal. So on the left, we have all black everything on the right, casual neutrals. Please sound off in the comments, which is your favorite. But if I had a meeting to attend, then yeah, I would absolutely throw either one of these on, but one is definitely more appropriate for the office, likely, I'm just saying. And there we have it, the Air Jordan 1 Low OG 
black toe. One of the best experiences, I think, for sneaker pickups in 2023. Comment your thoughts below because all too often, even if it's a really loved, coveted pair we can't wait to return, something is changed about the shoe. Now, some of us may be a fan of those changes and some people strongly dislike them and they don't shy away from letting that be known on social media. And it, it does seem that uh, consumers will face some type of hurdle or issue in recent years. Uh, if we're talking 2020 and 2021, just accessibility. That was such an issue with botters and stimulus checks. Just fl We just saw a flood of people coming into sneakers that maybe was never really in the forefront front of their mind and then we understood and we, we we get it the lost and found pair that was a journey that was a roller coaster it was a nightmare for a lot of people even in receiving their pairs and that was really unfortunate there was still some controversy with this returning the white cement three reimagined just based on the consistency of the elephant print on pairs that turned some people off and it may taint their idea of what may be the sneaker of the year side note i still don't know where i stand on that just to be clear and then we have have some things where the the shade of a color may change let's talk about the fives that are coming up just based on it not being a one for one some people will absolutely walk the other way and they'll go for something else which is understandable and i respect that but for this one it was more so as i pointed out in another video if you didn't catch that on the good the bad the ugly of the air jordan one low og black toe please be sure to check that out it's pretty short like five minutes or so quick watch and you can go about your day but the nitpicking that i did you know what as i said in that video it doesn't detract from me really loving and appreciating this pair and it's a low which I think makes it a little bit more versatile than a high some of you have commented you certainly want highs more than lows and I respect that too it's all about preference all of this is subjective it's preference it's whatever works for you and for me especially being a woman I just feel like I can get away with lows if I'm in a dress or I'm, I'm trying to dress it up I'm dressing it down I'm in shorts I'm in pants I think a low just allows for a little bit more versatility at least personally for myself do I rock highs with shorts yeah if you didn't catch my video with like the women's uh, jordan one high denim that came out i have on jordan shorts in that video with the actual ones that are highs and i really love that fit too that fit almost made like a second appearance in this video but i decided to just go ahead and i'll leave that for uh instagram and if you follow me there at talks out with that tj you may also see other fits or pairs i may wear just on a day-to-day -day basis but I'm really excited to have these in hand. I see them getting a lot of wear in my collection. And if you're anyone that has a lot of red, black, and white, then that's probably going to be the case for you too. So before you leave, please comment below your favorite look. Did you go for these? Did you choose to keep the red laces or the black laces in? I did sail and it's crazy that a lace swap could make some people... Uh, unhappy i just i don't know whatever laces you choose to put into your pairs is perfectly fine with me because it has nothing to do with me i chose to do sale laces and people we are in 2023 let's be the resourceful advanced humans that we are utilize google search ebay search i literally just got these on ebay so you can just go ahead and search like wax sale laces and all of these options will pop up you can also google length of laces for Jordan 1s, <laughs> highs or lows, and I promise you, answers populate to give you an idea of the length that you will need for a high, a mid, uh, or a low. So with that being said, I really appreciate you tuning into this video and any videos you may watch on the channel. I certainly have more on the way this week, so please be sure to stay tuned. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. <laughs>